Hi church family, I'm here to bring you the Friday update for Central and I want to start by sharing a little bit about Pastor Jim and how his journey of healing is moving along. Uh, Jim found out this past week that the blood clots that he had have dissolved and that's great news and also all indications are that the tumor on his pancreas has gotten smaller and we're giving thanks uh, and celebrating um, some of the pluses this week. There have been some new challenges with the side effects from the treatment that he's receiving. And one of those is that um, Jim is struggling with diabetes now. And so that has uh, challenged his um, nutrition and what he eats. And, um, and we want to make sure that we're faithful as we support him. I know that some of you have already signed up to bring meals to Jim and the family, and uh, we're going to have to make some changes in what we are able to provide them. So if you've already signed up uh, as part of the meal train, you'll be hearing from Hannah uh, sometime this week just to how we're going to have to reboot um, and do things a little bit different to accommodate his nutritional needs. But the, they did find out that um, that Home Chef is a meal plan that they can participate in that will be able to provide exactly what they need. And so we are going to be asking our church family if they would consider helping with that meal plan so that they don't have to worry about preparing um, specific things. These meals are already prepared. They pick them up and heat them up. Um, and so as part of Team Gym, we're asking people to consider giving a gift to support that, that process. And I know that preparing a meal for people, praying over it, bringing it to them, uh, just brings such a sense of connection and support. And so we are going to have to find new ways to do that, to be able to pray over the gifts we give them um, and offer for them. The, there's opportunity to send cards and letters uh, that we can pray over and share as a as a opportunity of support. So I know things are looking a little different in how we care for Jim and Beth and the boys, but um, we're going to keep doing what's faithful and helpful for them in this process of healing. It does seem to be that um, Jim will be able to go to MD Anderson at the beginning of December as planned, but we'll be updating you each and every Friday as we have information. Uh, we don't, we don't want to keep anything from you and want to make sure that you know um, how he's doing. He certainly appreciates um, the prayers and support he's getting uh, from our church family. Uh, lots of things going on in the church each and every week. Last week we celebrated All Saints Sunday and honored those who have been part of our church family who have passed in this last year. We lifted up their names um, and uh, honored them and the wonderful lives that they lived and faithfulness that they shared with us. So I encourage you to go to the website and look um, at the bulletin and see the names of those um, that we have lifted up from this past year. Also this week in worship, we are going to be giving Bibles to our third through fifth grade children. And that is just such a great, great Sunday. Of course, things look different because they are different as we worship, um, but handing over the word of God to our children is something that, um, that we are very excited to be a part of. And so if you can join us in person or live stream, we'd love for you to be a part of that. Uh, as we uh, give those uh, Bibles to our children. Next Sunday, our youth, some of our youth, will be making um, a commitment to be faithful members of our church as they confirm their faith in Jesus Christ. We will be having a, a separate service for them and their families on Sunday the 15th in the afternoon. Um, we're, I think, trying to make sure we can live stream it or at least get the video to you so you can see our young people um, as they make that commitment. We have lots coming up with the Advent season right around the corner following Thanksgiving. I want to encourage you to look in your mailbox and be on the lookout for all of the things that will be a part of this Advent season. 
our worship times, our Christmas Eve worship times, the mission opportunities, the ministry opportunities are still going to be available. We'll have a virtual angel tree this year. You can be a part of that. Operation Christmas Child looks a little bit different. Our community meal looks different, but is happening. And so we need our church family to stay connected and to be part of all of those things. We hope that you are well, that your family is safe and well, and we look forward to times when we can be together in person albeit we have to register and wear masks and be physically distanced but we're looking forward to times when we can connect and be together so be well and stay well and know that we miss you and love all of you and can't wait to be together again